Hey, James G here. In this video for the Persona Studio One series, I'm gonna show you how to add an effect to a channel that you already have. So I've pulled up this little acoustic part that we had from one of our other recordings. And as you can hear, we'll just play a little bit of it. It's just very dry, uh, direct acoustic guitar recording, so. So there we go. So uh, there's really two types of in, uh, effects that you're gonna deal with. You got your inserts and your sends. So if you look down in your mixer here, you'll see the top part is where you would put your inserts and the bottom here is the sends. Well, what's the difference? Well, as it sounds, the insert is literally inserted right into the track itself, into the signal. So that is generally when you would do your compressors or your EQs and things like that. Your sends are if you want to send that signal to an effect, have that effect added, and then it sends back to you. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, reverbs and delays are common ones that you would use as a send. And the reason is, is you want to be able to control the amount of saturation of that send back and forth. So that's what it does. So we'll start with the send. So let's add just a little bit of reverb. We go down over here to our brows. Remember, if it's not there, you can hit this button here. You can F5. And I'm going to go down to Mix Reverb here. And now there are a bunch of presets. So if I hit this little drag here, I can pull some um, that are already done there. I tend to kind of do my my own, but some of these are really great. Um, I mean, they're great. I mean, they're, they are what they are. They're really good uh you know, presets that you can use. So uh, this ambiance lively is a really nice verb, uh, especially for acoustic guitars. So the beauty of this whole program is you used to have to set up, you would set up your, you have your channel recorded, you'd have to set up the effects channel, then you'd have to send, a, you'd have to set a bus channel for that channel to go to that effect and then it return, right? Well, S Studio One is so drag and drop that all that can that all that is done in one swipe. So I can literally take the ambience lively. I'm going to move it over here to send, bam. So it's pulled up the effect for me. It's already added the bus and everything is set up and ready to go. So now that is going to add some of that reverb nicely in there. And now you can hear that's quite a bit, right? So um, what this doing here is this is how much I'm sending of that signal to the mix verb. So I just want to get a little bit of a feel there. So and there you go. So that would be a send. Like I said, reverbs, delays, those are your send and return type of effects. If I was going to add something like EQ, which you're going to use a ton, a ton of EQ, um, you would go to your handy dandy. Trusty Pro EQ. This is just the stock uh, Pro EQ plugin. It's fantastic. That I would throw in my insert. Now you can actually pull it up just to the track as well, um, but I would get in the habit of doing insert. Otherwise, you'll find yourself pulling the track, like reverb tracks going up there, and it will go in the insert, not the send, and it'll sound like you're underwater. <laughs> so go to your insert. You're adding EQ there. There it pulls it up, um, and you're ready to go. Also, You've got presets and everything go there. So that is the big difference. So when you're adding effects to your channel, if you're doing anything that's uh, kind of saturation based, like reverbs and delays, um, then you'll want to use as a send. And then if you're putting in your compressors or expanders or uh, even amp simulators or anything like that, you're going to go into your insert. And that's how you add an effect track.